let's let's um let's shift over to uh something else that came out rather uh this is it this now this is old news uh as i said before um the spyro reignited trilogy came out in now when was that one cuz that one was delayed uh did you, uh november spyro reignited trilogy um and i just wanted to give some of my thoughts on it because whoops i hit the mic i'm so sorry i'm i'm so sorry it came out I, it was probably my most hyped game last year i i loved the first three spyros growing up i played all three all three the way through um although i never i've never actually 100% or whatever it is 110 or 113% whatever it is spyro 3 uh i'm sorry if i'm shaking the mic too much too it's in a really inconvenient spot when i do the podcast but um yeah, in Spyro 1 and 2, I did 100% when I was a kid, 110, whatever percent, 5,000% complete Spyro 2. So I beat it 9 million times. But, uh, oh, November 13th, that's when it was. I took the days off of work for it even. Like, I was just so excited for this game. And I wanted to give some thoughts. Uh, did it, oh, wow. Sold less than, huh, neat. Anyways, uh, Wanted to give some thoughts uh, on it. Did I think it was good, uh, better, worse, worth it? Uh, I guess the answer is a mix of a lot of things. <laughs> um, uh, I think, first of all, overall, it's, I think it's phenomenal. Like, I had so much fun playing through the first and the second game again. I still haven't beat the third one again. I'm, I've live-streamed it a ton, so you might have... You know, I don't know if you saw me on Twitch playing it. I didn't have my microphone for a lot of that because I was still getting back into the streaming and testing things and whatever. So, yeah, but I played a absolute fuck ton of of Spyro on Twitch, and I think that graphically it's phenomenal. The controls are the best improvement in all three games. They're amazing. And Spyro 1 in particular has the most improvements of course out of all of them it just looks and feels and the dragons are all unique like it's big improvements there the thing with spyro 2 and 3 especially 2 is i don't feel like they needed a lot of improvements right so so there is other other than graphics you know but there is like that feeling of like wow spyro one feels like a huge jump and then spyro two and three feel like less of a huge jump uh but they did i mean they thought of everything here like if you're a hardcore spyro fan if there's things that you can you know they got all the voice actors back consistently they put if you want to use the original music from Stuart copeland this guy right here um they have that in the game. They have this like dynamic music thing where it's like when you're running, it plays this little drum thing while they do the remixed versions of the songs. So the thing is, you can't really bitch about the remixed versions of songs. And some of them are good, um, are really good. A lot of them are actually um, because they have the old ones, too. I, you know, the the number one thing I really wish they did was they did the Halo uh, CE and Halo 2 remake thing where you could hit the back button and it would switch to the old graphics but i know that playstation games are a lot harder to like uh um emulate so that would have been a little bit more difficult than like doing it with halo because because halo if i correct me if i'm wrong but i don't believe that with halo ce and um the halo 2 anniversary they did um built from the ground up these were built from the ground up i'm I, if i remember correctly so i can understand why they didn't have that still kind of sucks because that would have been so cool like this picture like to just hit the back button and be like wow wow look wow look at that that looks so much older but no you can't you can't do that so um but the levels are fantastic anybody that was like worried about this, this is why i hate outrage from 
before things come out. I'm going to go off topic for a moment. Like, remember when, like, this game was perfect. It was so perfect. And then the one knock on it, right, um, was... Sorry, I'm typing and talking at the same time. The one knock on it was, like, they that it was going to be, like, multi... Or, uh, not multi-disc, but um, you had to have the disc... Or you had to... What was it? Two and three were not going to be on disc. Only Spyro 1 was, so you had to download those and you couldn't play two and three if you were offline or whatever. And it's just like... <sighs> there was a lot of people who were like, I'm canceling my pre-order. And it's like, fine, fuck you. Go cancel your pre-order. That's not a huge deal. I know it sucks, It's but that is not a huge deal. Um, I It just... It caused an outrage. That's what I don't like. If people would just like complain like, oh man, that kind of sucks, like because I can't play two or three now. There is there is going to be some people who don't have the online and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, that's a legit complaint, but I just don't think it was worth outrage. And now that the games come out, you don't hear any of that shit. All that's gone. Because, first of all, it was phenomenal. Um, like, seriously, I would put this... For me, personally, I, I'd have to think about it harder, and I, I I usually do this, but I haven't thought about what my game of the year is. But this might be it, even though it's a remake, and and not even just the biasness. Like it's just really well built. Like the whole game, it holds up so well, and everything looks better. Like you know, at first I saw Ripto, and I was like, oh god, he went from that to that. No, he's great. He's great in the game. Um, I will say. I don't remember who said this. Uh, maybe it was Kedikaris on YouTube. I did watch a video, and they said something about the voice acting is a little bit more generic at times. Uh, I think it was his like top ten things he didn't like about Spyro Reignited. So watch that video and watch that point he makes. He he makes it a lot better than I could. I do agree with that. Uh, I thought some of the voices were were in Spyro one. Some of, or sorry, uh, in the original trilogy on the PlayStation, they f the voices sometimes felt ridiculous. Like, uh, yeah, God, you'll have to watch that. He, he explains it better. But, but basically, like, um, when you hear the robots, it sounds like a person trying to be a robot and it's, but it's, and well done though. The voice acting is still well done, uh, in the original trilogy. Right. So in Spyro two, like you hear a robot and he kind of, he's like, it sounds like a person going at beep, boop, bop. And it's silly, but it's not bad. It, it works really well for Spyro. It's kind of goofy and charming, but in the new ones, they just go for like actual robot sounds like robot. Which I guess makes more sense, especially in that context, but y yeah, it doesn't it it just it lost its charm it 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 makes it less memorable um or like if you see a character with a cowboy hat, you know he's gonna sound like yeehaw! like that's yeah, it's not fantastic, but it's whatever you know that's nitpicking. This is one of those games that, like, if you complain about it, it's pretty much nitpicking or nostalgia goggles, right? Because, yeah. Um, some people complained that the skeleton in the Bados, or the, what's it called? The Skelos Badlands, I called it Bados, um, level in Spyro 2, like, when he dances, he, like, flosses and the song is different. And I was like, yeah, flossing, that, that shit's annoying. I know. I hate seeing it everywhere. But whatever. Like, it's 2018, so I, I got it. Like, you know, it's like, ah, it's, it was still charming and funny. Whatever. Um, a lot of nitpicking. Uh, that's all it is. Because otherwise, it's fantastic. Other than the speed levels and a lot of the glitches in Spyro 3, which clearly is the one that they tested the least, and it's probably why they delayed the game more so than the whole, like, you have to download two and three thing. Um, because uh, it, look up a video on, like, why the speed, um, wh what are they called? The, the levels where you have to fly around and, like, get all the, get through the rings and whatever those are called. Um, the speedways. Uh, look up why, like, those kind of suck in Spyro 3 specifically. There is a good valid argument there as to why they're worse now 
uh, although not unplayable, but they are worse. And then the glitches. But yeah, other than that, Spyro Reignited is phenomenal. Everybody should play it. I, I, I work at a retail store, and whenever parents or whoever comes up and asks like what I recommend game wise I'm like just I always say like Spyro the uh, reignited trilogy because it's three games they're all phenomenal they are old school but I don't care if you're a kid a teenager or an adult you can enjoy them they're not overly hard they don't take they're not like um in a huge investment you know like when I play the last of us it feels like man I'm if I play the last of us I'm gonna be playing this for a long time you know um I don't feel like I can just hop in and hop out because I'm going to forget some of the story, and then I feel like i got to start over. Whatever. They don't feel like an investment, so this is a phenomenal game, and, and if you haven't played the Reignited Trilogy, um, go and do that. 